everybody! Today I'm going to be doing a huge book haul. I like to pride myself by thinking that I keep the book industry alive by buying all the books. But my bank cries whenever I purchase said books. But it's okay, I like reading so it's fine! <gasps> So today's video, I have a lot, a lot of books. Like 25-ish books, it's quite quite a lot. It's not like I bought all these books in one swing. I bought them over the course of two months. So guys, don't, don't crucify me here. Okay, so the first book I have for you guys is actually a graphic novel that I got at New York Comic Con. I was passing by this one booth and I was like, ooh, that's a cool cover. What's it about? So this book is monstrous and it is a graphic novel that takes place in an alternate world in a Asian steampunk society. At least that's what the person at the booth told me. Now I'm just gonna go off the summary off the back of the book, but that should be enough to hook you right away and want you to read it. So it tells a story about this teenager who is a survivor of this cataclysmic war between humans and their enemies, the Arcanics. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, and if I am, please let me know how to pronounce it down below. I would love to know. And in the face of oppression and danger, she is a hunter and the hunted. She wants to seek out answers about her past as she is being hunted by people who want to use her. And all the while, the monster within her begins to awaken. I hear this is an amazing magical world full of lots a danger, intrigue, and amazing, amazing storyline. I've heard only great things about this graphic novel, so I'm so excited to read it. I love it so much already. I feel like I need to do a video about the comics and the graphic novels that I read, because I mainly just talk about young adult books on this channel, but I feel like I need to broaden that to the other genres of written words to share with you guys, because I know a lot of you guys like this stuff as well. So if you want to see a video about like comics and graphic novels that I have, please let me know down below. Okay, so this next book I also found out about at New York Comic Con, and I had no idea it was ever going to be a book, because I'm obsessed with the podcast, and that is Lore. Lore is this amazing podcast about all these creepy, mysterious things in the world, and lots of legends and mythologies and true stories as well. So this book is pretty much the written word of the podcast, but with new stories and crazy events that happen, and I am so excited about this because the theme of this book is the world of lore, monstrous creatures. I like me some monsters. Very nice. Okay, so the next book I've been looking for for a very long time after I finished the first book in the series because I thought the book was so clever funny, mysterious, and also a little bit creepy. And I like some creep. Prittering. And that is The Madness Underneath by Maureen Johnson. The first book is called The Name of the Star, and I read it about a year ago when I was in Scotland, and I was obsessed with it because it circled around the storyline of Jack the Ripper coming back from the dead and hunting victims down. And it's about this girl who has to figure out the mystery of who is this guy, why are there ghosts around her, and why can't she see them? She goes to this boarding school in London, and she's originally from Louisiana, I believe, if memory serves me right. So she's not just in a new city, but in a whole new territory all together with ghosts and creepy murderers and all that fun stuff. And it is such a great storyline. I highly recommend the first book and I cannot wait to jump into the second. Okay, this next book is the Prusitopia Book Club book for the month of November. I can't believe it's almost November. What even? Wasn't it just like October like 0.5 seconds ago? Just me? Hmm? Okay. And that is The Empress by S.J. Kincaid. I am so excited to read the second book in this series because I read the first one, The Diabolic, with you guys for the book club and we absolutely adored it. It is one of the best science fiction books I've read in a while and I definitely definitely recommend it to a lot of people. We're working with Simon & Schuster for The Empress and I am just so ready to dive in. The next book came out about a month ago and it's by one of my faves, Adam Silvera, and that is They Both Die at the End. Spoiler alert! But not really because it's literally the title, They Both Die at the End. So this book is about two boys and they get an alert from Death Cast to say that they're gonna die that day. And it's about these two boys that meet each other on their end day and want to spend it together. There's romance, there's craziness, there's awesomeness, and I'm so excited to read it. If you want any really good LGBTQ plus books, Books and just a dang good read all together. I highly recommend that you go and read Adam's books. They're so beautiful, so touching, and they always make me cry. Even if I know the ending of it already because of the title, I'm pretty sure that I'm already gonna cry. It's fine, guys. I'm fine. The next book sounds super adorable, and I have not read a super adorable book that takes place abroad in London and other places in the European Union. And that is I See London, I See France, and this book sounds adorable. So this book is about Sydney, and she plans on traveling Europe with her friend Leela. But just as they're about to leave, the plans kind of spiral out of control when Leela Leela's ex-boyfriend shows up for the trip, and so does his hot best friend. So if that little summary doesn't grip you already, I don't know what will, because I'm so ready to read this book. It sounds amazing, and I love these types of contemporary books. They're super cute, lighthearted, and I cannot wait to jump in. So this next book is not technically out yet, but it comes out in November, and I'm so excited to read it. It's an LGBTQ plus fantasy novel. It's called Runebinder by Alex R. Collar. And I recently got this from a Harlequin party, and I was like, ooh, I want to read it's it. It's kind of like The Walking Dead meets The Shannara Chronicles meets Magic meets 
futuristic dystopia, and I am so excited about this book. So this book centers around Ten, and he is a hunter, and he hunts even though pretty much all of humanity is almost lost. But then he is singled out by this seductive hunter, Tomas, and another hunter named Jarrett, and they are in a bigger game than they ever thought they were going to be in. And this is a game that could turn the tides of the war and maybe restore humanity. Next, we have a Scottish fantasy novel that's called The Changeling's Journey by Christine Spores. If you do not know Christine, she's a bookstagrammer by the name of Wee Reader, and she lives in Scotland, and she created a Scottish fantasy novel that centers around changelings, and I am so excited to jump into this book. If you like Scotland, if you like changelings, if you like that kind of storyline, like kids being taken from their beds and replaced with fairy child, you will like this book, and I'm so excited to jump into it. Next, I have Jackie Hyde by Amy Ross, and this book is a Jekyll and Hyde retelling, and I do not know too much about this, but I've been told that you want to go into it kind of not knowing what it's about, only that it's about Jekyll and Hyde and it's retelling on that story. Next is a book that I recently got and recently came out by a wonderful author that I just filmed a video with, and you can check out the video, it's on my channel right now, and it is Invictus by Ryan Groudon. Invictus is pretty crazy of a storyline, but in a good way. It's like Firefly meets Doctor Who in a time-traveling band of kids who travel through time to steal artifacts that won't be missed. Whenever Ryan talks about it, I'm like, okay, I gotta read it right now. So I hopefully will be getting to this very soon. The next book is the second book in a series, and the first one came out last year. And it's called The Dazzling Heights by Catherine McGee. And I am so pumped about the second book because the first one was really fun. It was like Gossip Girl meets Futuristic World. So pretty much it's about this tower that has now taken the place of Central Park in New York, and pretty much everybody lives in it now. So if you like Gossip Girl, if you like a murder mystery, I definitely recommend you read the first book. And if you read the first book, the second book is now out, and I'm so excited about okay, it. Okay, so next I have a book that I mentioned on this channel before, but I have not mentioned the rest of the series, even though I only have four in the series right now. No, wait, five. But there's more to the series. But I wanted to test the waters with just the first few, even though it's probably insane that I even have... I'm not dropping them. They keep on falling. Bye. It's funny that I'm even testing the waters with like the first five books in the series, but you read them really quickly. I plan on binging this series, like the rest of it, during a 24-hour readathon coming out. I'm so ready. But anyways, it's Dark Fever by Cara Marie Monning. And so I have Dark Fever, then I have another book in the series, which is Dream Fever. This is totally out of order, by the way, because they all just fell. Shadow Fever, Blood Fever, and Fae Fever. So these books are an urban fantasy novel that take place in Dublin, Ireland, where Fae are real and they are really evil. And it's about this girl who finds out that she is the power to defeat them. So it's about her fighting the Fae and, you know, winning over the world and all that fun stuff. And I am loving the series. I cannot wait to finish it. Okay, and lastly, I have like about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight-ish books that I got from a secondhand bookshop. And they're all romance novels. Since there are a lot of these books, I'm only going to give a brief description of each one, like what the plot really centers around, not the whole entire description. Just because there's a lot of them and you could probably grasp what they're about anyways. Romance and sexy fun times. So the first book that I got at the secondhand bookshop for like $2. All all these were like two dollars, guys. Steal. Across the Wild Sea by Sasha Lord. And I did not know that the author's name was Sasha when I picked up this book. I only saw the girl in what she was wearing because I was like, oh, I was wearing a dress like that the other day. Mm. And that was when I had red hair. Mm. Is she me? Who knows? But this is a fantasy romance novel. Next, we have An Outrageous Proposal, which I actually read and it was not too bad. It was my first really like Quinn Desire romance book and it was pretty good. I definitely would recommend it if you want a really quick, fast read. Next is The Heiress's Homecoming and pretty much it's about an heiress coming home. Romance. Historical. Awesome. Next is Love with a Scottish Outlaw. Pretty much Scottish romance book. This one I just love the cover because it's so old fashioned and it's The Pirate and His Lady. And so it's a pirate and his lady. So it's a pirate romance novel. Next is The King's Convenient Bride. I love me some king romance novels because I love the idea of getting married to a prince or king. Next is Captured by Desire. And I'm not even sure if this is a Scottish romance novel, but like there's some plan on it. So that kind of makes me think that it's a Scottish romance novel. And then last is a Julia Quinn novel, and I love Julia Quinn's books. They're so much fun and cute and adorable and romantic, and I love them. And that is To Sir Philip with Love. So I instantly snatched this up because I was like, oh, Julia Quinn, cheap book, I want. Okay, guys, so that comes to the end of this book haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Also, guys, if you want to add a book for your January book haul, I recommend Zenith by Lindsay Cummings and Sasha Allsberg. It's for pre-order now, so go order it down below if you would like. Pre-orders help so much, so please, please, please go and pre order it now. I would love you forever, even though I already do. Wow, that's a lot of books. So that is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos coming to you every single week. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Gosh, if I drop these, I'm gonna feel so sad.